second important topic that we have taken today is environmental performance index. Now, environmental performance index was released last to last week. And since then, there has a lot of conversation been going upon going on this EPI. Why? Because EPI has evaluated 180 countries on certain benchmark parameters. And India has been placed at India's rank in 100 amongst 100 countries, 180 country is 180th. That is India stood at the last point in environmental performance index and due to which the government has come up with the total rejection of environmental performance index and lot of environmental activists have also been discussing this EPI. It has been making a lot of noise. The very important point is what is the rank of EPI, uh, rank of India in the EPI? It is 180th out of 180. Okay. India at bottom, the both the news have the news clippings have been taken from Indian Express. India at bottom in EPI 2022, but environment survey confuses and stifles honest discussion on climate change. Okay. Explain why is environmental what is environmental performance index and why has India questioned it? Now we will be looking into what is environmental performance index and why has India questioned it? Understood? Now EPI is an international ranking system. API is an international ranking system of countries based on their assessment of economic health. It is published by Yale University. Okay. Uh, it is actually a collaboration between Yale University and Columbia University and <coughs> EPI measures some of uh, EPI is a weighted measure a weighted measure means a specific weight has been provided to one parameter like air pollution like water pollution and a aggregate of these sums is determines one's rank right. It is a biennial index. Biennial index means once in a two year and it's first started in 2002. Okay. And it is published by World Economic Forum in collaboration with, with Yale Center for Environmental Law and Policy and Columbia University. <coughs> Yale University and Columbia University basically these two universities in collaboration with what World Economic Forum at Davos. These three bodies per publish and make the assessment okay there are 40 performance index indicators now we'll be looking at there are three policy questions the first one is environmental health the second one is climate and the third one is ecosystem viability vitality sorry so these are three policy questions under which there are 11 parameters and under these 11 parameters there are in total 40 important points on which the evaluation is done. So we do not have to remember all these, but yes, we will have to remember the, these 11 and 3. <coughs> okay. So environmental health, mein, air quality, waste management, water and sanitation, and heavy metals. Okay. Ecosystem vitality. Mein, okay. Heavy metals. Pe, this year prelims, there was a question and it was related to what? Wetlands. Uh, wetlands are called, the question was, wetlands are called uh, the kidney of the kidney of earth okay like amazon forests or forests are called the lungs of earth similarly wetlands are called kidney of earth why so there was an option ki it filters heavy metals okay so <clears throat> I, I, i'm not sure what the exact options of these question was but it is very important to understand ki how important all these parameters are because these are constantly evaluated and they are, these are constantly in news. Okay. So air quality, waste management, water and sanitation, heavy metals, these, these parameters are important for assessment of environmental health. Then comes climate, climate change mitigation. There are two points about climate change. One is mitigation and the second is adaptation. Now adaptation means, adaptation means a country's performance in adapting to the changes that have already occurred adapting to the changes that have already occurred environmental changes of course and mitigation means 
ट्राइंग टू रिमूव और ट्राइंग टू स्टॉप द चेंजेस फ्रॉम हैपनिंग ओके ट्राइंग टू ट्राइंग टू स्टॉप द चेंजेस दैट हैव नॉट येट हैपन्ड और टू रिमूव द इम्पैक्ट ऑफ दैट वेयर एज एडेप्टेशन मीन्स we are trying to adapt ourselves adapt our life to the change that has already happened in environment okay so there are always two important points that you have to remember climate change are regarding the first one is adaptation and the second one is mitigation so this parameter talks about climate change mitigation and then comes ecosystem vitality ecosystem vitality means what are the vital factors that are important from for the ecosystem health right such as biodiversity and habitat ecosystem services now what is ecosystem services ecosystem services are those services that our ecosystems provide us like fresh water fresh air right fisheries agriculture acid rain and water resources so ecosystem vitality has 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 parameters four environmental health and one climate climate change mitigation there are total 11 parameters that deal with epi and within these 11 parameters there are around 40 points of assessment <coughs> now if we look at the rank of the countries so denmark is at the first rank second is united kingdom and third is finland that is all you have to remember denmark first second united kingdom and third is finland on the other hand india has been placed at the lowest level at the 180th position and with the point 18.9 theek hai uh 18.9 points india has been placed at the lowest level okay and that is why despite the fact that there have been a lot of uh, changes going on in the environmental sector a lot of Uh, legislative changes a lot of policy changes that have been going on india still stands at 180th position in environmental performance index now epi ranked india at the bottom amongst 180 countries india has actually fallen from its previous rank that was 168 with score of 27.6 in 2020 since it is a biennial survey last survey was done in 2020 okay and india has performed even worse than pakistan bangladesh vietnam and myanmar the poorest per the and these are the poorest performers as well now if we look at some important uh, performance parameters so india has performed very poorly in ecosystem vitality 178th biodiversity 179th habitat index 170th pm 2.5 is very important there was a question on pm 2.5 now the question in this year upsc was ki there was a question and you had to tick if it was right or wrong now like you have to uh, there were multiple options you have to cho choose one the important was ki pm 10 and can enter the blood vessels actually pm 10 cannot enter the blood vessels okay pm 2.5 is so small that it can break into the alveoli and it can enter into our blood stream okay so this is very important heavy metals such as lead in water 174th now very important point to consider here is ki <coughs> gangetic basin or gangetic uh, basin from up to uh, west bengal bangladesh all these portions have been affected badly by arsenic right and these problems have not been considered in epi instead presence of lead has been tested okay presence of lead has been tested instead of arsenic and fluoride and we understand that the whole gang the lower gangetic plains from uh, like the western up to bangladesh a very severe uh, arsenic contamination in the groundwater has happened but we are not, this report does not make an assessment of that okay instead it checks lead in water and even in that India has secured 174th position. Waste management, we have, uh, I would say, we have performed well, relatively. Climate policy. Now, climate policy in India has secured 165th and projected greenhouse gas 171. This is very important. Projected greenhouse gas emission. We are at 160, 71th position, and we'll be discussing this point in 
a bit of detail. India has also scored low on rule of law, corruption and uh, enforcement efficiencies like enforcement of law has not been very efficient in India. Okay. Now, what are the objections that have been raised by India? The first objection that India has raised is shifting of weightage. As I said in the very beginning, that environmental performance index is a weightage based, weightage based index. That means uh, specific parameters have been pro pro provided specific weights. Take okay? specific weights. Like if we consider, for example, A, B, C, and D. Take okay? Now I say that you have to provide some weights to ABCD so that, that those weights reflect the importance of that point, right? And I say that A is most important, C is second place, D is third place and B is at fourth place. B is the least important of all, okay? And you have to assign weights such that the sum of the weights is equal to 1. You can do it like A is the most important. For example, we, point, we assign it 0.5, a weight of 0 0.5. 0 0.5 means 1 may say 0 0.5 weight humne isko assign kar diya A ko. Isko assign kar diya, kyunki second most, C second most important hai, to 0 0.2. Bacha kitna? 0 0.3, kyunki 0 0.2 plus 0 0.5 is equal to 0 0.7. Right. To D ko humne 0 0.1 assign kar diya. Bacha kitna? 0 0.2. To isko humne... Uh, sorry, this point 0.15 kar diya, right? So 0.5, 0.2, and 0.15, and 0.15, right? For example, it can also be 2, and this can then be 1, okay? So 0 0.5, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, and 0 0.1. This is called weighting of the parameters, the weight providing specific weights to parameter. Now 0 0.1, 0 0.5 plus 0 0.1 plus 0 0.2 plus 0 0.2 is equal to 1 total, right? Similarly, <clears throat> as we saw in the previous slide, okay, India has performed specifically poor in certain kind of parameters. Now India has objected that one of the main reasons for that is shifting of weightage. Actually India says that its score uh, in black carbon growth has actually improved from 32 in 2020 to 100 in 2022, the top score. Okay. India has improved significantly on growth of black carbon. Black carbon. Okay. There are two. Ca black carbon is uh, the uh, the income like in after black, black carbon is formed after the incomplete combustion. Okay. Ba it basically in emanates from the vehicles. Okay, it is very soft, fibrous, and uh, it, it is very uh, strong uh, uh, irritant for the patients of asthma or other respiratory infections. Okay. So India has uh, made a very huge improvement in the growth of black carbon. It Its score was 32, 32 in uh, 2020, and now its score is, uh, what, 100, 100 out of 100. It is the top score. <coughs> But what has happened is, in 2020, the weight assigned to growth, growth of black carbon was 0.18. Now, in 2022, it has been reduced to 0 0.0038. And due to which, India is saying that despite making strides in improving certain parameters, those parameters' weight have been reduced due to which our score has been reduced. Okay, and that is why India is questioning the methodology that has been used to calculate what the EPI <clears throat> okay second is greenhouse gas projections this is a very controversial thing now greenhouse gas projection may we have secured 171st rank out of 180 okay if we look at the greenhouse gas projections if we look at the greenhouse gas projections this is a pie chart taken from the very same EPI report it shows that why in 2050, this is for projection of 2050. In 2050, 
the total greenhouse gas emission of china will be 28.7 percent of the whole uh, the all earth right and india will be at second place with 11.1 percent whereas usa will be 8.0 percent and then russia and all these countries <coughs> it means that india will be at second position okay second position in 2050 with respect to the greenhouse gas emissions ghg emissions okay now what is the problem the problem here is most of the developed countries they have pledged to become carbon neutral by 2050 whereas india has pledged to become carbon neutral by 2070 instead of 2050 but this report considers that every country has to become carbon neutral by 2050 and <clears throat> now why this projection this projection is correct there is no problem with this projection however this projection was made by extrapolating the graph okay? extrapolating means ki agar curve yahan tak available hai we will be making the line we will be extending that line after some point we will reach 2050 and we will say ki yahan pe pahunch jayega india ka carbon emission right that is extrapolation of the curve so <clears throat> india says that although it is an extrapolation it is an extrapolation it is not very much valid there are certain there are a lot of things that can change and that extrapolation is a very simplistic extension of what is happening right now ho sakta hai ki ye curve yahan se yahan bhi aa jaye right so that that is also a possibility theek hai extrapolation is not a very right method to determine something because extrapolation simplifies and ignores a lot of factors okay now this report assumes that 2050 में सारे countries का जो greenhouse gas emission है that will become the countries will become GHG neutral but India's commitment is for becoming greenhouse neutral is 2070 and not 2050 now greenhouse gas neutral does not means we will stop emitting greenhouse gases greenhouse GHG neutrality means we will be absorbing or we will have the carbon stock the absorption of carbon will be the same as the emission of the carbon okay that be, that is what we call ghg neutral ya carbon neutral we are not saying that we are going to stop the emissions of carbon itself that is not a possibility right <clears throat> so but india says that india's contention is ki okay you have you have said you for 2050 you have said that india will be second highest whereas china will be highest correct and us will be third but this report ignores the fact ki other countries like usa or developed countries have already attained their peaks now what is the meaning of they have already attained their peaks it simply means it simply implies <coughs> that these countries are having uh, the peaks that these countries were at uh, uh, that the technological advancement that these countries the, if we talk about this okay so this is the peak okay or india abhi yaha pe pahuncha hai to india ka peak aana baki hai that will be around 2050 india ka peak hi aayega 2050 ke around aur hum is baar america is curve pe hai this curve represents a fall, a constant fall in the greenhouse gas emissions. But we are this curve. Pe we are developing nation. Our energy needs hai, they are going to increase only. Okay. And those energy needs will be fulfilled from coal and all these fuels. Right. But America has already peaked and now its energy demands are, of course, the energy demand of, uh, the per capita energy demand of USA is 40 times higher than India's per capita energy demand right but still it is on the curve which is now falling but india is a developing country it is going to make a lot of infrastructure it is go going to ma make use of a lot of electricity vehicles right so we are going to peak somewhere around 2050 usa has peaked somewhere around 2010 so there will be at least a 40 year gap in our peak our peaks may 
पीक पीकिंग मीन्स रीचिंग द पीक ऑफ और इमिशन और पीक इमिशन पे पहुंचने के बाद हमारा इमिशन डिक्रीज होना स्टार्ट होता है तो हमारा पीक इमिशन हो जाएगा 2050 के अराउंड एंड हम 2070 के अराउंड कार्बन न्यूट्रल होंगे बट अमेरिका का पीक हो चुका है 2010 में एंड दे आर नाउ ऑन द पाथ ऑफ बिकमिंग कार्बन न्यूट्रल बाई ट्वेंटी फिफ्टी तो दिस रिपोर्ट फॉल्स फॉल्सली अज्यूम्स दैट ऑल द कंट्रीज आर ऑन द सेम लेवल दैट इज द मेन कॉन्ट्रोडिक्शन दैट इज द मेन पॉइंट ऑफ ऑपोजिशन दैट इंडियन गवर्नमेंट इज ऑफरिंग कि द रिपोर्ट फॉल्सली अज्यूम्स दैट ऑल द कंट्रीज आर ऑन द सेम लेवल ऑफ इमिशन एंड दे आर दे शुड हिंस बी एक्सपेक्टेड टू बिकम कार्बन न्यूट्रल बाई ट्वेंटी फिफ्टी बट दैट इज अ रॉन्ग एजम्पन बिकॉज इंडिया एंड यू एस ए आर नॉट ऑन द सेम लेवल्स ऑफ इमिशन राइट बिकॉज यू एस एज पीक इंडिया इज येट टू पीक तो दैट मेक्स द होल डिफरेंस अंडरस्टूड इंडिया एंड ऑल द कंट्री अदर कंट्रीज आर नॉट एट द सेम लेवल ऑफ इमिशन राइट नाउ एंड दैट इज वाई देर आर डिफरेंट पीकिंग पीरियड्स फॉर ऑल दीज कंट्रीज एंड मेकिंग एन एजम्पन दैट ऑल दीज कंट्रीज विल बी परफॉर्मिंग वेल इन टू फिफ्टी will not be a fair assumption on part of epi right uh, objections other objection raised by india is the extent of ecosystems the epi has considered the extent of ecosystems but not their productivity theek hai and moreover it has not indicate included the indicators like agro biodiversity soil health food loss and waste and these are very important indicators for a developing countries that means india is trying to question the one size fits all approach <clears throat> right different countries might have might be having a different level of development different kind countries might be having different kind of development needs and different countries different countries might have different kind of uh, the environmental policies suiting their own conditions if we try to assess all these on a very singular person Uh, uh, sing, the very singular performance index, then that might not be the fair representation of what uh, the actual picture is. Okay, and then forests and wetlands of the country are crucial carbon sinks, which have not been factored in while computing the projected GHG emissions trajectory up to two fifty. Basically, the extrapolation of the curve. from 200 to uh, uh, the extrapolation of the ghg emissions in the previous slide india will be the 11.1% with 11.1% emissions india will be at the second place now india says that such an such an such a result has not factored in the presence of carbon stock which will of course lead to reduction or absorption of the carbon and hence india could have performed better so india is questioning the methodology that has been used uh, by wef to calculate epi okay that is what india is precisely doing so i hope you understood this whole and why i hope you understood what were the objections of india and why is one singular perf performance index uh, not a fair representation of what actually what are the demands of the developing world vis-a-vis -vis the developed countries and what are the needs of the developing world vis-a-vis -vis developed countries i hope you understood that if you have any questions kindly ask me in the comment section